What else has Mark Cuban revealed about the SEC? We're all aware of the SEC's blunders and delays, but what Mark Cuban has revealed about the SEC is far more significant. Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 50 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Elon Musk and Mark Cuban have signed an amicus brief opposing the Securities and Exchange Commission's gag orders, which prevents settling defendants from publicly criticizing the SEC's unproven allegations. The brief written by a petitioner Barry de Romero and assigned by Amici, including Elon Musk, Mark Cuban and Nelson Abbas among others asks the Supreme Court to review the SEC unconstitutional gag rules. Individual Amich, for example, have previously sued the Securities and Exchange Commission in response to Cuban's remark. James K. Freeland advised a ripple of supporters to read the brief in order to gain a thorough understanding of how the SEC operates. The SEC has gag rule, according to the brief, is contrary to public policy and a clear violation of First Amendment rights because it prevents people, particularly investors, from learning more about the case. The petitioners argue that gag orders should not be used to prevent settlement defendants from speaking out because such a policy would only serve to conceal relevant information from securities market participants, for whose benefit the SEC seeks transparency. According to the brief gag orders allow the SEC to withhold information from market participants. Hobson's choice settlements are not a substitute for market transparency, and so on. The SEC should greet scrutiny of its allegations, particularly unproven allegations in settled cases, according to excerpts from the brief, to ensure that justice is served and any flaws in its cases are publicly aired. The Securities and Exchange Commission has recently been heavily chastised, primarily for the way it handles cases. Instead of seeking justice in every case, the SEC is allegedly poised to ensure that it always wins, even if it means taking drastic measures because the SEC uses unconventional methods to ensure its victory in all cases. Most businesses in the United States are unprepared to get into hot water with the agency. Ripple, on the other hand, is poised to change the narrative, as the blockchain company has been fighting the SEC for more than a year to prove that its native cryptocurrency is not a security. According to reports, the lawsuit may result in a settlement in the favor of the blockchain company. Moreover, the ongoing legal battle between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple, a fintech company began in December 2020 and is expected to last four years. Since then, the plaintiffs have been accused of continuing delays and the case is still pending. The SEC has repeatedly stated that it will do everything possible to postpone the hearing. This time is no exception, as there are plans in the works for more delays, whatever the outcome one thing is certain, it will be absolutely breathtaking. Holders of XRP have already been harmed in the past, and they are likely to be harmed again, as a result of the New Deal. The Securities and Exchange Commission had predictably requested an extension on several occasions. The SEC filed a request for an extension of time to file an objection to Magistrate Judge Nett Burns' ruling on the motion for reconsideration of the DPP ruling on April 15 this time. However, both parties appeared to be in agreement about the need for a time extension. Naturally, this decision did not receive the support that it had hoped for from the XRP community. The SEC Ripple and individual defendants, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse have all agreed, according to a recently filed letter published by attorney James K. Fellon, that all motions for summary judgment and motions to exclude expert testimony must be filed on or before August 2, 2022, unless otherwise specified. Expert challenges will take place in August, according to reports with closing briefs due on December 20, 2022. Despite the fact that the recently filed a joint scheduling order would not apply to requests to challenge Anthony Umbraco's testimony, or his expert report's recommendations for viable remedies, the order would apply to motions to dismiss the case. Do you think the case should be pursued any further? Let us know what you think in the comments section. This delay elicited unexpected reactions on the cryptocurrency Twitter sphere as a whole. James Freeland responded with his version of events in a subsequent tweet. According to Fallon, the plan agreement was mostly a trade-off between two parties. Fallon continued by explaining why Ripple would agree to the terms. The aforementioned resolution was also said to be implemented in 2023 causing even more hardship for XRP holders. On the day the lawsuit was filed, approximately 15 billion XRP in market capitalization was lost, 
causing harm to the very people the SEC is supposed to protect. In a statement, attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at Hogan and Hogan Law Firm, expressed his disappointment with the scheduling order drawing parallels between Ripple's complaints and that of LBRY. The Securities and Exchange Commission breaking the agency's rules has charged both Ripple and LBRY. Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple Labs, criticized tribalism in the cryptocurrency industry in a recent interview with CNBC, claiming that it is a fundamental problem in the space that is preventing it from growing on a large scale. Do you agree that this is a significant issue? If that's the case you'll want to give this video a thumbs up Garlinghouse owns Bitcoin and Ethereum except for XRP. And as a former CEO of Yahoo, he has seen many companies that were able to coexist successfully during the dot-com boom of the 1990. Garlinghouse is a proponent of cryptocurrencies. As he admitted in the interview, Garlinghouse is concerned about a lack of coordination among the leaders of cryptocurrency companies and communities as well as a lack of proper regulation from us authorities. Ripple Labs has been fighting the Securities and Exchange Commission in a lawsuit, filed by the regulatory agency since December of 2020. The SEC's goal, according to SEC, Chairman Jay Garlinghouse is to impose strict control on the entire cryptocurrency space, and that the agency has been used as escape. Additionally, through a listing on Dushboard's Zetra Europe's largest ETF trading venue, the ETC is now available to investors in 16 EU countries. XRP, ETC, aims to physically imitate the performance of Ripple XRP by backing each unit of the ETF with actual coins, giving investors pure exposure to the fundamental digital asset. The new vehicle aims to be a low-cost product that provides regulated access to the XRP token. While benefiting from ETC groups, other ETC securities, high-quality, institutional-grade security and custody, as well as 100% physically-backed features. It was created in response to high demand from institutional investors, looking to gain exposure to the performance of Ripple's native currency. According to the company, the world's sixth-largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization has been gaining traction alongside other cryptocurrencies, despite ongoing controversy with the Securities and Exchange Commission which claims it is a security rather than a currency. Ripple is rapidly becoming a leader in global payment systems with hundreds of financial institutions, selecting Ripple to provide a better international payments experience for their customers in real time. Said Bradley Duke, founder and co-CEO of ETC Group, we're continuing to expand our offering to investors by adding this latest ETC to our growing portfolio of high-quality physically-backed digital assets giving them access to a wider range of digital currencies and assets, particularly those with the large market caps. Our partnerships with world-class liquidity providers have helped our products achieve market-leading success by delivering high liquidity and tight trading spreads. We are excited to partner with ETC Group again to offer a new etc. backed by XRP, says Hector McNeil, co-founder and co-CEO of Han ETF. The ETC group in collaboration with Han ETF has established itself as a market leader in crypto asset investment products. Exchange-traded cryptocurrencies have seen a surge in popularity, offering investors a safer and liquid way to invest in digital asset. Ripple is a rapidly growing blockchain-based digital payment network that is gaining popularity due to its speed and reliability. Also, as we wind up with today's video, let's take a closer look at the crypto market. During today's session, Bitcoin was once again in the red, as prices remained below the crucial $40,000 mark, following a high of $39,263.60 on Friday. The world's largest cryptocurrency fell to a low of $1,235.54 to begin the weekend, following Sata's drop. The price has been slowly approaching the long-term support level of $37,570 which hasn't been reached since March 13th. Ethereum on the other hand, briefly touched its long-term support level during today's session, as traders prepared to bid farewell to April, with prices falling from a high of $35.80 to a low of $27.70. April was the worst month for Ethereum since December. The Ethereum USD pair dropped to an intraday low of $2,782.44 on Saturday, just above support at $2,780. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. 
If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.